What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, Happy New Year. Uh, hope 2022 is better than uh, 20 or 21 for everybody. <laughs> We've got uh, another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're working with the Hasegawa 124 scale Suzuki Juni, the ski version. It's got, uh, it's got figurines, caricatures. Got some, got some people to hang out with a stig. Stig is gonna have some company. Hey, ladies. <laughs> so, not sure what I'm gonna use them for, how I'm gonna work them or paint them up, but pretty excited about this one. It's a uh, cool little car. I've seen these built before, this model. Um, it's pretty neat. These things can outwheel quite a lot of vehicles. They're a pretty amazing little, little rig. So we're going to do like we do. We're going to pop the top, flip it, and check it. Starting right away with the uh, instruction booklets. The Japanese styles are these big, long, fold-out, pretty detailed, um, pretty, pretty precise about where stuff goes and and what sequence and uh, what your different options are going to be and color markings and decal locations. I do like how they even include um, what kit, what parts will not be used in your build. They're for like other other versions, you know, parts that you may or may not need. Uh, a little, you know, a little bit of history about the vehicle. And the uh, instruction booklet for, hey, yeah, Stig's buddies, Stig's new ski crew. So, um, that's the only character that I've painted, <laughs> and I kept it pretty simple. So, we'll see how these go. Uh, let's look at the decals real quick. Look really nice. They look really crisp. Um, good. Get them out of there and get a closer look. Try to keep these as, as actual review videos so you can look closer at them if you were thinking about getting one of these. A little spendy, you know, but I've been getting into the uh, flat kits, as we call them, and they're just, man, usually they're built so nicely. They're exquisite uh, engineering. They go together so well. They don't fight you like some of the other three-letter brands. Uh, I'm not going to bag on them, but we know. You, you know what I'm talking about. Um, mostly piles of crap would be a, 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 an acronym for one of them. Uh, another modeling torture session would be another one. Uh, so, anyways, I digress and complain. Nice decals. It's got a uh, nice little instrument cluster. We've got the rear window defrogger. Defrogger. <laughs> Ribbit. Defogger. And the molding. That's that's cool. So you don't have to run your Sharpie around it and get it all messed up. It's got some cool little logos on there. You know, it's got some graphic effect, graphic effects, different color options. This is actually pretty big as far as... Uh, Japanese kits go. They're usually pretty small. Speaking of small, we get right to the body. And wow, look at that little guy. Yeah, look, look at that little guy. That little guy right there. For scale. Um, here, this is a just for scale reference. That's a 124th scale um, or 125th scale. Ford Crown Vic. So, look at that. He's just tiny. It's a tiny little car. So, we'll park that thing over here for now. Wee you, wee you, wee you. Wee you, wee you, wee you. Uh, the plastic feels nice. Notice that about the flat kits. Their plastic feels differently, and I'm not sure how to describe it. It just feels cleaner. Nice details throughout. Nice prominent. Um, Raised details and good panel lines. Those will scribe out and uh, look look really good. 
Not sure what that thing is on the top. That's probably for part of the roof rack that... I mean, I guess you could cut that off and sand it down if you weren't going to use it, but, you know, we probably will. So, then let's get into the peoples. We persona, that's a key. Many peoples in here. And the, oh, wow, the clear parts are in there with it. I'm going to put those in a different bag back to protect them. Uh, solid one piece windshield, side glass, rear window, side windows, some lights, various lights. I always like it when these are uh, the clear parts. They're either red or clear, and I can paint them with the with the Kamiya, Kamiya transparent. It just looks so good when they're done. The turn signals. So we'll put that in there. Keep it from getting too beat up while well, it's being waited, waiting to be built. Well, words. So our first character, a woman that looks like she's got her arms in her jacket. Got a big cheesy grin. I'm kind of thinking maybe I could use some of them as race suits. They look like they might be almost like a fire suit. I don't know. We'll see. But see, this first one has... A bunch of skis, shorter ones and longer ones, and ski poles. And then, looks like those are probably mounts for the rack to put on the top of the car. Wow, that's that's a lot of skis for that little. I mean, the four people and gear are going to get in that car and go to the snow. Oh, that's going to be a long day. <laughs> Move over. Stop touching me. And you can see the ski boots have little clips. That's probably what those are. They're clips to put onto the skis themselves. Different arms and different uh, configurations and angles where they're holding things. Like this one, the box that showed it, showed him he's like, hurry, let me get my, let me get my goggles adjusted forever. <laughs> He'll always be adjusting his goggles. And then, look at that, that's super cool. Let's, let's get the, uh, I bet I could paint those up to have like a reflective sheen on them to give them the, <laughs> give them the gators look. So those are cool. Kind of looking forward to that. And then the other big bag. Wait, there's the tires. Did I miss the tires and wheels? Oh, they're in there. Okay. Lots of lots of parts. Parts and parts and stuff. So we'll just go to the tires first. That's a uh, pretty big tire for that small of a vehicle. Let's pull out one. Nice uh, soft rubber. Decent, decent tread pattern. Uh, that's a yeah, that's a pretty big wheel for that little bit of little teeny vehicle. So you got five of those, and then some looks like photo etch parts. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. There's a there's a Suzuki logo and some I, I'm not sure what you know trim components. But those look nice. Those good looking rubber. Uh, I think that's like a vent, a hood vent. I'm not sure what this little part is. There's going to be a lot of stuff that I'm not sure what it is because I haven't built a lot of these flat kits and they do they do things a little bit differently. This one says right there, ski carrier. So those are probably part of the roof rack system. The interior tub. One piece. A little bit of details. Not a whole lot. And the underside has some, you know, good texturing on it. The dashboard, right-hand drive. Uh, I don't know if there's options for right or left. Let me look real quick. Does not look to be, appear to be. Looks like it's uh, for right-hand drive only. And there's your solid piece 
chassis with the engine bottom. So, you know, those will, that, those usually paint out nice and look decent. Just because it's a curbside, doesn't have an engine, don't despair. They come out nice. Uh, suspension components. And then we have, looks like uh, inner fenders. Hmm. Okay, and then wheels. Good looking wheel. You know, that's a, a nice solid five spoke, five lug. Or, yeah, we've got options. Looks like it may, may be more of a stockish and an aftermarket version. So we've got four of those, or five of those, and four of the stock of the stock ones. Not sure why they didn't give five of each, but uh, nice uh, disc brakes, good size, good details on the, the calipers. Not positive what that stuff looks, almost looks like, like that's probably like a gas cap or something. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to bother trying to call stuff out that I don't know what it is. <clears throat> it's a part. There's parts. This looks, again, identical. Yep. Even down to the tree name. E. Jimny 124. So, you know, whatever. Not sure why they do that. Uh, and then there's the front grill bumper steering wheel shifters and mirrors and then suspension and axles front and rear leaf springs which this style is really not hard to lift you know if you wanted to put uh put some bigger bigger tires on it. I don't have any mud tires. Yeah, I do. Here. Different, you know, put a bigger, a little bit bigger of a wheel tire on there. I may or may not do that. I don't know. We'll see. I always like to look and see if it's possible, if it takes a lot of work, and, you know, see how I feel at the time. So, that's, uh, that's about it for that part. And then there's oops, wait, one more. Okay, we have a different steering wheel option. So again, same with the wheels, the steering wheel. There's like an aftermarket and a stock version. So, you, know, you can choose whichever one you like, whichever one works best, looks best. And then the tiny little chrome tree, like this is it. This is the only chrome for the entire kit. Some headlight and light vessels, buckets. It looks like uh, an antenna and eh, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe a door handle or something. I don't know. Really small. And that about does it for the Suzuki Jimny Ski version. Pretty neat kit. Looking forward to it. This is uh, going to be built up pretty soon. I'm really liking the way these flat kits go together. They build up really nice. So that about does it for this one. Um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. We've got more coming up. We've got lots of cool kits this year we're going to get into. I recently just, uh, somebody asked a question on one of the pages, how many have you built? And I have built 50 models this year. It's almost a model a week. I, I mean, I guess I took a week off when I went down to California to go visit my mom. Wow, I, I almost wish I wouldn't have done that count. I mean, that's, man, that's that's a lot. So we got lots of kits, lots, lots of uh, cool ones to build, lots of cool ones to unbox. And the next one that's going to be coming up soon will be this guy. That little guy. Cool. Really looking forward to that. Got a uh, nice can of British green. I'm going to go full off-road rally race on this. So 
that'll be coming up as a this is going to be the first build that i get into this year and it will be coming up really soon as an unboxing so stay tuned thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one